Hello, and welcome to another Morant vlog episode. Today I'm going to be talking about data subject access requests, or DSARs as they're known, and their tactical use in litigation, and how best to deal with this. Data protection rights have evolved substantially over the years as the increased use of technology has placed a greater emphasis on keeping our personal data safe. The same is true in Guernsey where the Data Protection Bailiwick of Guernsey Law 2017 came into effect on the 25th of May 2018 and was drafted to reflect the EU GDPR regime. Under the Guernsey Data Protection Law, data subjects have certain rights around access to their data where this is processed by a data controller and this information can be requested using a DSAR. So, how can DSARs be relevant in a litigious context? Well, ever since the inception of DSARs, they have been used as a tactical litigation tool in order to circumvent disclosure and to gain access to documents that may further a potential claim. In the past, case law has been sympathetic to those businesses targeted by tactical DSARs, but the tide has slowly turned the other way and effectively established that access to personal data is a right and that requests for personal information should be purpose blind. A key case in this area comes from the Court of Appeal in England. The case Dace and Damer v Taylor Wessing LLP revolved around DSARs aimed at a law firm who were the solicitors to the sole trustee of a discretionary trust to which the appellant was a beneficiary. The appellant sought to challenge payments authorised by the trustee in the Bahamas and saw orders from the English courts compelling the firm to comply with the DSARs. The Court of Appeal held that imposing a no other purpose rule on DSARs beyond the realm of verifying the accuracy of personal data would lead to potentially undesirable consequences, things like data controllers refusing to comply with applications on the basis of suspected ulterior motives. However, as a counter against those cases, the tactical use of DSARs was successfully challenged in the recent English case of Leeds v Lloyds Bank PLC. In this case, the English High Court dismissed the claim against the bank for allegedly failing to provide adequate responses to DSARs as completely without merit, where the continued deployment of DSARs on the same grounds was initiated for tactical gain. So while it is possible to challenge DSARs that are initiated for tactical reasons, the overarching position remains that the right to access one's personal data is fundamental, and it will be difficult to challenge DSARs even where there is an ancillary objective such as litigation. So what key messages can we take from these cases here in Guernsey around responding to DSARs, including those we believe that are being made tactically? Well, the key point is to remember that while there is an obligation to comply, there is no need to provide information beyond that required by the legislation. Data subjects are entitled to their personal data and the prescribed information as set out in Schedule 3 of the 27 Data Protection Law. This does not mean that a data subject needs to be provided with every document concerning them as part of the response. Our advice is try to be prepared. Complying with the DSAR will be more manageable if you have appropriate systems and processes in place to help you manage requests. By having a clear DSAR policy in place, not only will you be able to act quickly, but you will also reduce the risk of making a mistake and providing information that is not required, or by providing information that will lead you to breach your other obligations, such as the rights of other data subjects. In addition, you should consider whether or not any exemptions apply under Schedule A to the Data Protection Law. Schedule A allows for personal data falling under any applicable exemption to be withheld from your response. If you have any queries around DSARS or the application of Guernsey Data Protection Law, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.